well, now we only have to go after the ones that are pretty much still moving, and there's only like three left, and it's these three, and as you can see, they're all pretty much archer ships, so just that boss to take care of them. This one here is a combat ship, so we'll go ahead and have the hockey go after them. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they don't really need them. Here's also an archer ship, so we'll have them go after them too. Now we're all moving in. And now I'll go ahead and show you some of the new moves we have. We have Barrage and Recover, which pretty much recover, recovers half of your HP. And Barrage goes ahead and just attacks whatever enemy that's in the radius. So we'll go ahead and take care of the combat ship right now. Fire! And the best thing about Barrage is you can go ahead and take care of the enemy without even moving in anything yourself. Just like that. Hey, close enough. Have them back off. Hey, we got another barrage. I'm going ahead and just use it on Luger. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and call him Luger. Okay, barrage that combat ship. We don't want them going after the ram. Fire! Okay, that's one down. And we got the phantom array out of it. So yeah, take care of the other ships first. Can't just bad be a good plus. So go ahead and have them just stick around. So I can recover. <laughs> uh, never Good mind. Much. We're gonna charge right in the bomb ramp for a loser. And that's pretty much the end of the battle. Get that 94. Once you get them below half, that's pretty much a battle over. We're done for. All mobile ships pick up the survivors from pulling out. And we got the victory with only 38, 32 casualties on our side. But we really managed to take care of them. Got a little bit of money, as well as some goodies. We did it! Did you see that? Did you see that? We did it! We beat the Royal Navy! Long live the Admiral! Long live the Prince! Long live Patricia! Now they're all brave. Highness the pressure we are forever in debt to you. You say bravely as you know, and on behalf of all of us, I thank you. Every, anyone would have done the same. It was all the pressure. I didn't really do anything, but you were the one who decided to say bravely, your highness. I simply advised you. And now it's our turn to help you. What do you mean? Did one tell you bravely women always pay their debts and try so hard? She wasn't kidding, you know. Miss Melina, from now on, Bradley is your team, Beth Sally. We'll see this battle through the end. And now we have officially recruited Bradley. Well, we're going to go through the befriended Kaysara and that. Of course, we already have Log and Lund. Don't need to worry about them. So it looks like you're heading back to the rain wall. I'm sorry, but I have to stay here. I'll have Kaysara go with you in my place, so as a proper. Representative of Bradley, yes, that. So it looks like I'll be accompanying you from here on out, your highness. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of remodeling here. Yeah, go ahead and get Kaisera in so that she can bubble up. 
sleep as well, and lay as well, and dilate the hand. And we can finally use her again. And Cornelia, yeah, keep her there too. And now we got a full party. Doesn't get any more fuller than that. So we'll go ahead and move on out now. Yeah, George doesn't come with us. Which would be rather suckish. But oh well. And the Marine, HP plus 20, who am I going to give that to? I guess I'll give that to the guy Sarah for now. Plus 3. And it's then. Go ahead and give that to her. And now we'll go ahead and do some more recruiting because we can now. Yes, there are a few people that we can recruit right here in Rapley as well, and that is we take some care of Luger. And one of them is just right down over here. So yeah, we're doing the recruiting game again.
surely no ordinary battle for him. Nell General Lugo isn't so weak as to let personal feelings interfere with your duty to your country. As his comrade General Lugo, you should know that. The Prince and Lady Mercedes Ron Bradley say that was General Lugo's downfall. Hmm, interesting theory. General Lugo, I mean Gilbert. The Prince and his rebel forces have confessed the dream while I like you to put them down once and for all. I thought you'd never ask my lord. I'll crush anyone who dares to fight you, commoner or noble. It makes no difference. They all believe this thing that they do. Man, he's pretty bloodthirsty. So, now we got another foe coming after us. And it sounds like a pretty powerful one, too. Godwin's finest general. And now we are back in Rainwall. I'm not really going to do anything here yet. We can still go ahead and do some recruiting. And I'd still like to try and get some training done, too. So we got some rentals, so I think I probably should have organized this a little bit. So we got some ults. I'll go ahead and use the dancing. Um, the flame and wall on them. Breath of ice. The shrimp. Just have these guys attack regularly, and I'll just have her attack regularly too. You might not see Kinsera actually attack, but still. This is this will be good training for her, since she's only at like what level eight. Then we can probably get Silas up there too, since we haven't used her in a while. And that's the flame and wall, as I like to call it. It just causes up two pillars of fire, and then they just go right into a column of enemies. Or a row of enemies, however you really like to put it. So, we'll go ahead and continue on off to here to Hog Village, because yes, we can get another character up here as well. And we got another fight. Okay, so we made it back up here to Hod Village, so now we'll go ahead and get ourselves another character here. And I think you know which one I'm talking about. Yep, you likely know which one I'm talking about now. It is... Josephine. Huh? Yeah. You have to have Siley's with you, and she has to be dressed in her usual royal uniform here. The royal clothes, not her disguise, but in her usual outfit. I decided myself to almost tell her how I wanted to be. What do you want to know? By yourself? Ah, as if the cloud storm of vanity has opened up in the heavens above. Finally, someone who carries a fashion sense that matches my own high cultural sensibility. Wait, I mean, someone like you, you, my good lady, are a fashion diva. A fashion diva? I've been called many things in life, but that's a new one. My name is Joseph Bean. I fancy myself a fashion diva as well. I deem you worthy to be my rival. Fellow fashion diva, consider it an honor. Okay. So tell me, fellow fashion diva, where shall our next destination be? Our next destination you're coming to. Of course, we should stay as close together as possible so we may inspire each other to even greater heights. Mm, sure, why not, Lance? What do you think? Uh, I have no idea. I guess that's alright. One diva is, is enough. It doesn't really matter what you choose to get her, no matter what. After this, even though she's an optional character that you can only get, but once you talk to her with silence in your party like this, then you got her no matter what. So, now she's just telling us to shut up and accept our good fortune of being happy to travel around with two fast divas. And yeah, we're going to be keeping her around as well, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of an elf. Get rid of the red one. And she is pretty weak as well, so we're going to be training her up.